Hey guys, I'm Greg Svrzevosti with Deepest Dream and the Cinematics Podcast. Pleasure to meet you both. Nice to meet you too. Nice Thank to meet you. you. There's a lot of love stories in cinema, but I love the fact at how Redeeming Love really explores the nature of unconditional love and how you can't just unconditionally love someone from afar. You have to actually put it into action. Can you just talk about how that theme is explored in within this movie? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, Michael's love for Angel is is all about patience at the end of the day. And he can see the light in her and he can see how special she is. But she kind of has, because of, you know, the experiences she's been through, such filled with such self-hatred, such self-loathing and cannot see, um, you know, how amazing she is. And I think his faith in her and and his love for her really, really shines through and enables her to have the strength in a way mm -hmm. to tackle her own demons. Um, you know, in a really active way, which I think is what you need. Mm -hmm. yeah. Abigail, how much of a big journey was this for you? You go through, your character <laughs> goes through so much and it must have, this project must mean so much to you personally because it just runs the gamut. It's like a really huge journey that you go on. Yeah, it was, um, it was just that. It was a very big journey. Um, I mean, it's, it's heavy subject matter, but it's very important subject matter and um, a, a topic that, I believe needs to be kind of um, talked about more. So it was, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I felt a huge responsibility to the character and to the role, and it was an honor, but it was definitely um, a challenge. I love but how part one. of, yeah, <laughs> I love how part of this movie is set in the city, or, or I guess the burgeoning city, and also a big part of it is set in the country. I am guilty as charged. I'm a city slicker. Just wondering <laughs> about you guys. Are you more a life in the country type? folks or a life in the city it's really interesting you say that because i'm having this i live in london so you can't really get more you know and like central london as well so you can't get more city than that but like i i love the countryside i'm from the countryside um just outside of leeds and these you know really nice rolling hills and things but um i'm kind of getting more country the older i get mm -hmm. i kind of i like the space and i like you know the country walks and and things i always thought i was you know a lifelong city. city rat. Yeah. Um, but actually, you know, the older I get, um, the more I turn. What about you? Oh, I, I mean, I grew up on land as well. Yeah. So I'm, I mean, I'm ride or die country, I think. I mean, I... Well, you live in LA. How do you find it living in LA? Do you... Um, no, I love LA. I love the people that I've met in LA. I yeah. love, I do love the artistic scene and I love meeting fellow artists and, you yeah. know, that's a great element. Um, but definitely don't want to, you know, I don't know if I would end up here for the rest of my life. I would yeah. love to, you know, hopefully get to a point in my career where I could like have a, a farm outside of Nashville and just like two you know, houses. Yeah, two houses. <laughs> you know, one here, one there. No, I mean like just have you know have animals, have space, yeah. and you know. The beautiful thing be about where we shot live, though is yeah, breathe, you know, if shooting in Cape Town and South Africa, it has all those elements. So you have the countryside, mm -hmm. but you also have Cape Town, the city that you can shoot in. And you've got the beach and you've got the sea and you've got the mountains. So it's, it's an amazing location that, that um, they found. Kind of has all those aspects that you need to, um, for the movie. Final yeah. question, I do a movie review podcast. Just wondering for each of you, can you name one of your all-time favorite movies and what is it about this movie that still speaks to you today? Oh, Come on. this is such a, you, you go. What's my favorite movie of all time? One know. of my favorite movies. I don't. The one that like really came to mind. I don't know why. It's because I rewatched it recently. Was The Hours? Have you seen it with Nicole Kidman? Mm -mm. Mel Street, Nicole Kidman. It's like based on this book. I think David Hare wrote the script. It's one of those. I remember watching it when I was in school. It came out years and years and years ago. It's one of the things that really Nicole Kidman like plays Virginia Woolf, mm -hmm. um, and she's like incredible in it. And the whole movie is um, it's it's this this stunning rendition of of, of this book and. The, the lives of these like um, three women and throughout history and how they turn yeah the hours i i think i mean recently i actually watched scenes from a marriage i still need to see that i really oh I, it's on my list like, my i've years. been talking about it like i think i talk about it like I once love a day <laughs> i adore her about, yeah. like and oscar isaac i was just i was in awe i mean the scenes they would do like it would be like an eight minute long scene yeah and they would just be like them sitting in silence well, and then like saying from, like, one a really word theater and theater background out there they, they went have to that school together, together. Yeah, yeah. yeah yeah so i i honestly that will i i think it'll be hard to find something that'll be. top that. But yeah. yeah, that's the kind of stuff that I love. I, I mean, I would love to, you know, do later on in 
my career and it's all about the script it's just, and it, yeah oh my gosh it's brilliant like it, it's just it was just genius yeah i'd say that honestly yeah. right, thank you guys so much for your time and just great work on the film for both of you thank you so thank much thank you nice so much